silver medal at uh, 2010 Pan Am Championships and a gold at 2012 Pan Am Championships. France, as I said, their number three team in the world coming out of 2011, based on 2011 Gyeongju World Championship results. Uh, Nari Habi. Dasu Gabet Alim. Marlene Arnois. Magda Wet Wheat Enin. Maeva Couton. Florian Leborio. And Aline Dasu Gabet. Zero, 0 right now. The one player is going against each other. And at the end of this first round, it stays 0-0. Zero, zero. Colombia in blue, France in red. This uh, number two player, right? Marlene Arnois. Now that Colombia is uh, on the court, I think we can mention that uh, December 6th to the 9th, Colombia will be the host country of the 2012, the seventh uh, WTF World Pumse Taekwondo Championships. Looks to be a very exciting championship in the other discipline in Taekwondo. And France, I think that's Arnois, uh, scored two points to take the lead two to nothing over Colombia. The winner of this match moves on to meet Russia tomorrow in the semifinals. In an earlier match, U USA withdrew a medical withdrawal uh, from their competition, their quarterfinal competition with Iran. So Iran is in the semifinals tomorrow morning. first to move to the semifinals uh, out of the men's draw. And in match play, we're these are the number threes, 30 seconds left. Columbia scored on that and a double timing round kick. So it's two to one. And France made her pay for uh, quite a slow attack. So it's three to one France. Good turn back kick by Colombia. That'll bring it to three. Smart play by France, trying to keep the game going and get the fact that the referees have missed the technical point. Uh, I think they're going to make the correct call now. As it is, they add the technical point for Colombia. Uh, the technical point's supposed to be automatically awarded um, by two referees confirming. Uh, they have a push button pad in their hand and after a turning kick to the body or after a turning kick to the head, um, there's it's best if they, they're supposed to push the technical point, 
button. And as long as two of them confirm that technical point, meaning they saw it, then that technical point will score. We've missed a couple, as you have seen, so uh, the referees have had to confer to award the technical point. Right now here, Colombia's up 6-3 to three over France. Colombia came out of the B pool, won the B pool against China and Brazil. It's a great job. And this, this is the five, number five player in match play. You know, the Columbia player tried to show an injury for falling down. To She actually fell to avoid the head kick and received a Kyungo or half point deduction for it. But they're still up 6 3. France scored with that push kick, 4 to 6. Gets another one. So now it's six to five. And that's the end of the five round and end of and match end play. So the referees are changing. One referee does the first five minute round, the second referee does the second five minute round. I think that probably alludes to what I was talking about earlier in the sense that our referees are trained for three two minute rounds of judging with a one minute rest in between each round and this the World Tag Team Championships is uh, formatted with two five-minute rounds. So it's a lot more stress on the, on the referee, longer duration. Here we go in team play. Eight, six, France on that head kick. And another one for 11-6. Quickly, France jumps out to a five-point lead. Eleven to seven. Ah, they got the technical point. Very good. So eleven to eight on Colombia's back kick. Colombia makes the change. And the two number fives again. Smart move by Colombia. I think uh, this matchup went Colombia's way last during the match play.
12 to 8. The French athlete, I believe, scored that on a turn kick to the body protector. And I think that's what the referees are conferring. So it'll be 13 8 for France. They keep that five point lead. And the French coach makes the change. Colombia is calling for a change. And the Colombia athlete apparently hasn't done, hasn't made three attacks. According to the referee that's making that count. Thirteen nine. Thirteen to ten. Good body attack by Colombia. Fourteen ten, strong back leg round kick by France. Two minutes forty five seconds left. Fourteen eleven, great undercut kick by the Colombian athlete. Thought they had a head kick. French athletes getting a getting a gum jump. She kicked the player while she was on the ground. I'm sure it was excitement or whatever. But she kicked the player when she was on the ground. And uh, uh, that's a one point violation. So it's 14-12 Columbia. Colombian athlete's got a good undercut kick, which is perfect for this, the matchup against that French player that's leaving. So that was a, a good pull by the that last Colombian athlete. Two minutes left. Columbia gets a deduction. Good head kick by the French athlete, the number one player, 17-12. makes a change score the same little MMA going on there Seventeen twelve with the minute eight left. Coming up, we've got the Korea men's team in red against the Dominican Republic men's team in blue. What is that? A 
18 to 12 France with 50 seconds left. Twenty-one, twelve. It's getting a bit out of hand for Colombia. Twenty-one, thirteen. Twenty-two thirteen on that Natabang. Colombia also gets a Kyungo, so it goes twenty-four thirteen for falling down. Twenty-four fourteen and twenty-four fifteen. 9 seconds left. 1 little extracurricular activity at the end of the round. And the winner is France over Colombia, 24 to 15. And France will move on to the semifinals tomorrow here at the Centro Deportivo, Batico Cruz, and Santa Cruz Aruba at 10 a.m.